Another effect that's interesting with liquid nitrogen that uh, I have some clips of uh, is that uh, it undergoes what's called a Leidenfrost effect. And that is an effect whereby a uh, liquid, when it's poured on a surface much, much hotter than its boiling point, will suddenly come to a boil at the surface, so much so that it produces almost a layer of, it produces, in fact, a layer of vapor, which then suspends the drop above the surface. It actually floats on it on the, above the surface as if on an air hockey table. And uh, the vapor is a very poor conductor of heat, so about 10 times less effective at conducting heat than the liquid would be. And so you get these drops skittering around. Okay, and that's something that you might notice when you uh, look at nitrogen, liquid nitrogen being poured on a surface. You can see a similar effect with water, a hot griddle. So one way you can test if it's hot enough for, say, pancake batter. You put some water on it, and if it skitters around and the drops last a long time, then you know it's hot enough. Here's the Leidenfrost effect for liquid nitrogen poured from a Dewar flask onto a lab bench. Notice the little droplets as they move across the lab bench. Some move quickly, some less quickly. This one right at the end in the middle of the screen. Here is the same effect with water on a very hot lab heater. You can see that when I drop the water right in the middle where it's hottest, the droplets skitter away toward the edge where it's not as hot, where they stop and boil away. Frequently, people ask, what would happen if you poured liquid nitrogen on yourself or if you stuck your hand in it? Well, at least briefly, you wouldn't be harmed because of this Leidenfrost effect, named after Mr. Leidenfrost, uh, who's an 18th century German nobleman, I think, who else would have the spare time uh, to look at things like this. Um, so what would happen if you put your hand in liquid nitrogen, and don't ask me to do it, is that your hand would briefly be enveloped in a layer of nitrogen gas, which would actually insulate it. So for a brief period of time, you can actually touch liquid nitrogen. Well, you're not really touching the liquid. You're touching a vapor which has evaporated due to the heat of your body, which is much, much hotter, of course, than the liquid nitrogen is.